This seems to be the chain that most of us humans follow. We occasionally get a glimpse that our life is utterly futile and wonder what the point is. We try to find meaning in things out there. We get attached to those things and then those things are taken away and we feel pain. And we wonder what the point is. Then we try to find meaning in other things out there and we get attached to those things. Then those things are taken away and we feel pain again. And we wonder what the point is. Then we try to find meaning in yet more things out there. We get attached to those things and those things are taken away and we feel pain and we wonder what the point is. This is the human loop. And this loop is wired into our DNA, which is, you know, very similar to the DNA of a banana. We are, effectively, bananas. And we are really meaning machines, going after meaning perpetually throughout our lives. And the problem for most of us is that we worry about things that, with even a little bit of perspective, really don't matter. And we spend so much time and energy worrying about those things that we don't have enough time or energy for the things that obviously do. We worry about being late so much for a meeting, but don't see our kids off to school. We worry about the extra pounds we're carrying, but don't see the fellow human being on the street in desperate need. We worry about the lines appearing on our face, but we don't see the cracks appearing in the earth pointing to global climate change. We search for gods and we miss the miracle of life. We are burdened by the past, we worry about the future, and we miss the present. So, in this prison of meanings, we need to say fuck it to those things that really don't matter so much, and focus on those that do. This is about getting perspective, and it's a fundamental part of fuck it therapy.